We have seen the PMOS common source amplifier with constant VGS biasing. Now we'll look at other ways of uh, biasing a PMOS transistor analogous to what we did with the NMOS transistor at a given current instead of at a given VGS. Okay. And if you recall with the NMOS, we had uh, four variants. We could sense at the drain. When I say sense, sense the difference between the desired current I naught and the actual current ID at the drain terminal and feedback to the gate. And that gave us this topology. To sense at the drain, you have to connect the current source I naught over there, so that the difference I naught minus I D flows into the parasitic capacitor and changes the drain voltage. And to feed back to the gate, you have to complete the feedback through a positive incremental gain. That is, the gate voltage should increase if the drain voltage increases. And the simplest implementation of this is, of course, a short circuit, where we have this okay and we have seen how to realize amplifiers with this okay now if you look at uh, the pmos counterpart everything will be the opposite so let's say i call this vdd that is the source of the transistor which is connected to a fixed voltage and like i've said before because we operate with positive supply voltages i'll call this vdd and the lower rail will be called ground. That will be the common reference node of the circuit. And we have to sense the difference at the drain node. This is ID and this is I naught. So now the difference ID minus I naught flows into this parasitic capacitor. If the drain current is smaller than desired, then this current will be pulled out and the drain voltage tends to fall down. Okay. Also, if the drain current is smaller than desired, if I D is smaller than I naught, the gate voltage V G must be decreased. Okay. This is because the source gate voltage V S G must be increased. Right? So, V G must be actually reduced. And how do I do that? If I D is smaller than I naught, what happens is this voltage goes on decreasing. So, the variation at the drain is exactly in the same direction as the variation we need at the gate. This is exactly the same as in the NMOS case. So, again just like before, we have to complete the feedback through a positive incremental gain. This means that V G increases if V D increases. That is the role of this positive incremental gain. And the easiest way to do that is by connecting the drain to the gate directly. Okay. In this case, you know that I D will be equal to I naught in steady state. Okay, in steady state meaning this voltage is not changing anymore. Okay. And if this is V D D, this V S G will be adjusted such that drain current I D equals I naught. In other words, V S G will be equal to the threshold voltage plus square root of two I naught by mu P C ox W by L. Okay exactly the same as what we had in case of the NMOS transistor. That will be the value of VSD. Okay. Now, will this transistor be in saturation? For it to be in saturation, VSD has to be greater than VSG minus VTP. So, as long as VTP is positive, which is the most common case, then this will be in saturation.
Okay. Now, because we have already discussed these things in detail with NMOS, I will go a little quickly through the PMOS alternatives. The second one was to sense at the source terminal and feed back to the source terminal. What did we do in the NMOS case? Because we are feeding back to the source, the gate terminal was tied to some fixed voltage VG0 and the drain was not used, so it was connected to the upper rail VDD. To the source, we connected a current source I0. And it turned out that we did not have to do anything more, because this connection here means that if I d is more than I naught, okay, then current flows through this parasitic capacitor and the voltage increases. And also, if I d is more than I naught, we have to reduce the value of V g s, so that I d is restored to I naught. To reduce the value of V g s, we have to increase the source voltage, but that is already happening simply because of this connection. And as I mentioned earlier, the source terminal is part of the controlling side and the control side of the MOS transistor. So, the feedback is implicit here. There is feedback. If there is a difference between I d and I naught, the source voltage changes and that will change the drain current. Okay. Exactly the same thing with PMOS. In case of PMOS, the drain terminal is not used, at least as far as the operating point picture is concerned. So, we connect it to ground and the gate is connected to some fixed voltage VG0. Usually, it is obtained using a resistive divider and to sense the difference between I d and I naught, we connect the current source to the source terminal and any difference I naught minus I d will flow through the parasitic capacitor. So, if I d is smaller than I naught, this means that a current gets pumped into the parasitic capacitor and the source voltage increases. Okay. Also, if I d is smaller than I naught, we had to increase V s g. Again, you see that nothing more has to be done, because the gate voltage is fixed, the source voltage is increasing. So, that means that the moment you make this connection, if I d is smaller than I naught, the source gate voltage V s g will increase. And finally, steady state will be reached, that is this voltage will stop moving when I d equals I naught. Okay. So, that is all that is there to it. So, that is source feedback biasing or sense at the source and feedback to the source source feedback bias with a PMOS transistor. Okay. And then using the usual procedures, we can turn this into any kind of amplifier. Okay, we have to have this picture for biasing arrangement and the input source and the load must be connected to appropriate places for realizing an amplifier. Okay. The third alternative was to sense at the drain and feed back to the source and to sense at the drain, because we are feeding back to the source, the gate is tied to a fixed potential V g 0 and to sense at the drain, we connect the current source to the drain and any difference I naught minus I d will flow into that parasitic capacitor. And here, we know that if I d is too small, if I d is smaller than I naught, then a current will go this way and the drain voltage will increase. The other hand, if I d is smaller than I naught, the source voltage must decrease, so that the gate source voltage increases and the current becomes closer to I naught. Okay. So, the sense of variation we want at the source is opposite of what we have at the drain. So, we have to complete the feedback through some stage which has an inverting gain, which has 
a negative incremental gain. Okay, and one of the possibilities is to use an op amp. Okay. With a PMOS transistor, again, the gate is tied to some fixed voltage, VG0, and to sense the difference at the drain, this is ID and this is I0. The difference current, ID minus I0, flows through the capacitor. If ID is greater than I0, then this voltage goes on increasing. Okay. Now, if I D is greater than I naught, what must happen is that the source voltage must reduce so that V S G reduces. Okay. So, the sense of uh, variation we want at the source is opposite to what we have at the drain exactly as in the NMOS case. So, we need a negative incremental gain between the two that is if the drain voltage increases the source voltage must reduce okay? and a possibility is to use an op amp. There are many things that you can use, but we can use an op amp. here and the gain has to be inverting from the drain to source. So, we have minus plus, we connect it that way and if I call this V D 0, the voltage here will be V D 0 in steady state because the op amp, I am assuming it is an ideal op amp, it has a virtual short between its input terminals. So, this will be at V D 0. Okay, and the gate is at VG zero. The source gate voltage has to be such that the transistor carries a current I naught, which means that the source gate voltage has to be VTP plus square root of two I naught by mu P C ox W by L. Okay, so the voltage here would be the gate voltage plus the threshold voltage plus square root of 2 I naught by mu P C ox W by L and this part is known as the gate overdrive voltage. Okay. Basically, it is V G S minus V T N in case of an NMOS transistor or V S G minus V T P in case of the PMOS transistor. It is basically the amount of excess voltage after turning on the MOS transistor that is present. Okay, To turn on the MOS transistor, you need a threshold voltage and beyond that, you have this amount and that is called the overdrive. Okay, And the last of the possibilities is to sense at the source and feed back to the gate. And again, because now the drain is not in the picture. We just connect it to the supply voltage VDD to sense at the source. We connect a current source I naught. Now we know that simply by connecting it to the source, we have feedback at the source. Okay. In this case, the feedback is not purely to the gate. There will be feedback to the source as well, but we can provide additional feedback to the gate by completing the feedback through a negative incremental gain. Okay. This is because the sense of variation you need at the gate is opposite to what you have at the source. So, in this case, although I write feedback to the gate, there is feedback both to source and the gate, but if this amplifier has a reasonably high gain, then there is substantial uh, feedback to the gate and lot less feedback to the source. Okay? And how do we do this with PMOS? Same principle. the drain is not used in the operating point picture now. To sense at the source, we connect a current source to the source terminal. This is I naught 
this is id and i not minus id flows that way so if id is smaller than i not vs increases now if id is smaller than i not vsg must increase therefore vs must increase or vg must decrease or both okay in this case vs does increase but we also want to have feedback to the gate so vg must decrease so again the sense of uh, variation we need at the gate is opposite to what we have at the source so we complete the feedback through an inverting stage or something that has a negative incremental gain so this really means that the gate voltage reduces if the source voltage increases okay and an example is to use an op amp again because we need an inverting structure we do this the inverting terminal of the op amp is here this is vs0 in that if this is an ideal op amp because of virtual short when it's a negative feedback this voltage will be at vs0 and you can calculate the gate voltage it will be vs0 minus the threshold voltage plus the overdrive okay that's the last of the variants for biasing a pmos transistor at a given current now you can take any one of these uh, biasing pictures and turn it into a common source amplifier or any other kind of amplifier that you wish to have okay now when you already have a working topology with nmos transistor you don't have to derive the pmos topology from scratch there is a systematic uh, way of uh, converting nmos circuits into pmos that will be the subject of one of the following lessons okay